So we've got another one of these emulation retro game boxes straight off of Amazon, right off of the boat from China to check out in this video. But I'm gonna blast through this one today as, I, I don't know, like none of these have really been hitting the spot, man. I keep saying it, like it's best to just do your own. A lot of times these are just little Android TV boxes that you could get for really cheap. They throw in a couple $2 controllers and you know, charge you a hundred plus dollars for it with a cheap micro SD card, probably faked specs too. I just watched that Linus Tech Tips video about don't like buy these uh, Android TV boxes and how a big sample size of the ones that they had, had like malware on them and whatnot. And that was always kind of a concern of mine. Like I never connect these things to the internet, but you know, they usually are like dual boot. Like you can go into Emulec or Android TV. So I would always recommend, if you ever buy these things, don't use it online. Cause you never know, you never know. They may be, may be trying to steal your identity or, you know, I, I don't know, man. Tap into your smart refrigerator and turn off your ice maker. Who the hell knows, man? But here's the, uh, so this is the frig, the friggin' dang, the, the friggin' A T95Q, right? Uh, this one's 256 gigabyte build. Let's get that uh, right off of there. But yeah, so let's check this thing out. Let's get all this crap out of here. You get the same old, same old cheap, uh, DualShock looking controllers that get the job done. They're not like great at all by any means, but they're serviceable usually. They take two triple A's, I believe. Yeah, and I got them right here. I came prepared. Don't have to cut to go find some batteries. Let's get those in there. And usually there's a dongle that allows you to, uh, you know, use both of them at the same time. So there's usually two. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's there's the donkey action. Okay, so power supply, remote, only for Android system, TV system. Oh wait, there's two dongles. Where the hell did that extra one come from? You, a lot of times there's only one. There's no extra micro SD card for the Android side of things, but typically it has onboard, onboard memory. And if you take the game build out, it'll boot to the Android side of things. So let's get this uh, plugged in. Ethernet, HDMI, optical, and then like they got that little thing there blocking the fake sand disc like 100 percent. this is not a real sand disc micro sd card there's no way this looks like somebody painted on the red and gray with like nail polish or something yeah that's uh, you know to each their own man maybe this thing will be amazing i think this has like sixty thousand games on it but you know it's with that amount of games it's gonna be a rom dump but let's check it out okay there's no like power button AV, what the hell? It glows, it kind of looks like those little at games pucks. T95Q, yeah, I think these are the ones that have the malware on them, <laughs> if you go on the Android side. Classic game, friggin' dang. All right, so that dongle's probably not for that one. The hell? All right, already off to a bad start here. This controller's turned on, but it ain't connecting. I got both of the donkeys in there. I've tried them like one at a time. Let me try the other controller. All right, this is this is already turning into a possible um, hatchet teardown in a moment here. This is freaking annoying. Think this freaking it's on. What's going? <clears throat> It's still the control, like the, it flashes until it connects when it turns on and then it, it, it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna try with both, both controllers with batteries, both dongles plugged in and see if this works. This is pissing me off, dude. Uh, 
I don't say they don't want to sync up. What is going on here? This thing, like, it picks and chooses once it wants to actually work. Okay, that one's synced, but nothing is happening. Oh my god. I am losing my fucking patience here with this thing, man. Fuck this. Okay, I, I'm I'm just I'm fed up with this thing, but I, I got this little keyboard synced up. I tried a bunch of other controllers and nothing would work, nothing was recognized, stuff that normally would. I don't know what's going on with this damn thing. But alright. Let's uh, quickly, because I'm I'm already done with this. 60,000 games on this boo-boo-ness, this bullshit. So we got a bunch of arcade stuff. Uh, let's check out if this is a big ass ROM dump, which obviously it is. It's it's gonna be crap, but let's see. Let's see. Doom. Hey, praise baby Cheez Its. They got the five super graphics games, but doesn't redeem the headache that I've gotten from this. Hey, almost the uh, the complete Turbo Graphics sixteen library. You're not winning me over, though. F Famicom 545. 4,400 and... Wow. Look at this. Hacks. Disk system. T too many Game Boy games. Too many Super Nintendo games. N64. 464. So there's going to be dupes in there. 3DO. Let's check out 3DO. The need... For speed, is it on here? Yes, it is. And finally, I get to go moving. This game is so slow, it took like five minutes before my car started. <laughs> Heck, all right, this is stupid. Yeah, I don't know how to, the, the controls aren't working. I, I set up the controls to this keyboard, but I can't play this game. Get out of there. Yeah, that's very difficult to play with a keyboard, but you know. It seems to be running all right. I'm still annoyed. They got Sega Saturn on here? A little, a little sloppy. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Can you really maneuver a battleship that easily in real life? Even some Dreamcast. And the stupid freaking game didn't load. Oh my god. This is this looks like a ton of fun. Ah. 